Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Are you guys ready for the Royal Ones? It's 2017 and it's about time for those Royal Ones to retro. I was thinking about doing just a regular review for this and I thought in my head that it might be even cooler to do a comparison from the 2001 pair versus the 2017 pair. So with that being said, let's get this video started. Now I already unboxed these, I took a look at them. And man, oh man, I think this is one of the top Jordan 1s to release. Now, I say that because they focused on quality, quality, quality on this one. Mark my word for it, you guys will not be disappointed when it comes to the brand new release of the Air Jordan Royal 1s. And just to do a comparison, I'll be using the 2001 model. I'll try to keep it on this side of the screen to make it a little bit more easier throughout the whole video so you're able to compare the differences between the materials, cuts, etc. And before we jump right into the comparison, I wanna give a little bit of background behind the Air Jordan Royal 1. For those of you that don't know, this is an original colorway. I believe it was the third Air Jordan colorway to release in 1985, and this is is one of my more sought after colorways that I go for since it basically plays off of the whole bread theme but in a blue version. Being that the bread slash band ones are one of my favorite Jordans to ever come out, these would have to be my second favorite just because it has the same color blocking, it's clean, simple, easy to rock, and what else can I say about it, man? It's a Jordan 1, it's clean, it's fresh. All right, so let's get this quick comparison in. It shouldn't be too hard. I'm going off the rip with this one, so let's get it. Doing that side-by-side -side comparison right now, what do you guys notice? Do you guys see anything different? Changes in the materials, uh, different cut, anything like that? It should be super, super obvious, but on the 2017 pair, there's a nice tumbled leather on it. Now this is shattered backboard quality leather. Shattered backboard quality. Jordan Brand isn't playing any games. They wrap that all around the collar of this one, and on the 2001s, we have a somewhat decent blue leather. Now this blue leather is a smoother leather. It doesn't have any details with the tumbledness and honestly 2017 is looking promising. Now taking a quick look at the inner collar of the shoes you're gonna notice something a little bit different. On the 2001 pair you have that Nike SB style padding. It's super super squishy all on the inside of the shoe. With the 2017 pair we're lacking a little bit of that extra cushioning that they used to use back in the day. Now will this be a deal breaker? I don't think so because a lot of the Jordan 1's have this padded collar on the inside and it's not like it's missing something that we were used to having before. If all of the Jordan 1's came with this padded inner collar and this one didn't, I would see how it would make a huge difference, but since it doesn't, it's not going to be a big deal. Ooh! Now let's take a look at the cut of these things from the back view. Some of you may notice that the newer Jordan 1's are going to have that original cut. It's a lot higher, a lot slimmer, and in my opinion, a lot more appealing to the eye. Jordan Brand, thank you so much for killing this. I love it, love it, love it. You guys are taking it to the next level. This is what I like to see, so keep it up. You'll also see differences in the toe box with the material. Again, shattered backboard, tumbled leather on the newer release, and the smooth leather on the older release of the 2001 pair. I did notice there's a little bit of difference in color. The blue is a lot more vibrant on the newer pair, and I'm gonna say that's because of age. Um, over time, shoes do lose their color, and they fade and whatnot, so I'm gonna say it's of the age and then one of the major differences that you're also able to see is that the swoosh is a different material you have a very delicate nubuck on the older pair now a lot of pairs start to crack and crinkle up lose their color all of this and that but on the new pair you have that shattered backboard tumbled leather and this will last for centuries okay maybe not centuries but this will last a long time because leather has a very very long life to it as long as you take care of it and moisturize it and do all that good stuff and also another key difference is the color of the insoles we have a white insole on the 2017 and we have a black insole on the 2001 pair in my opinion these are two different shoes even though they are the same colorway I definitely like the 2017 version a lot better I know, I know, I know that might be kind of hard for y'all to grasp, but 
Once you guys get these in hand, you feel it. You're gonna love these, I promise you. These are the new Shatter Backboards, man. Retail price for these is going to be $160, and these shoes drop on April 1st, 2017. So let me know in the comments if you guys are going for this pair. Is it a cop or drop? And let me know why in the comment section down below. Like I said, I wanted to do something a little bit different with this video. Instead of doing a review, we hit the comparison. So if you guys like that, hit that like button for your boy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, all right? It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. I said I'm driving Mercedes. My window's not tinted, they look at me crazy. I ride through my city. I talk to that bitch like, look what you made me. We came from the base.